So, okay, we're going to get started on this because it's well overdue. Right then, lovely people of YouTube world and the RC hobby um, in general. It is December 31st, um, 2022. Yes, New Year's Eve. And I'm going to make a start on this. Um, I did say that I was going to have to order a new MFC 03. But while I was rummaging around, I found another box. And in that box, there was an MFC 03. I don't, I can't remember buying two, but I've got another one there for um, the US truck, which uh, is for another project that I've got in mind. So I've got a few parts that are um, coming, such as beacons for um, the roof. Um, but yeah, just, you know, Going to make a start on this because I've got the um, wiring that I can put in the chassis as I'm going. I'm not going to make um, a 20, 24, 25, however many it were, like I did on the uh, Sunny Pruitt moving on truck. I'm going to just do probably about four, or five, six, maybe seven um, videos on this build because it is just a a straightforward build um, on this so we're not going to uh, labor the point you know I'm going to say I'm going to build the chassis build it in the left hand margin of the book we have um, all the screws brackets um, etc the washers these are the actual size of the parts you need so if you're in in any doubt that you've got the right screw ma1 for example here just get the bolt and lie it on the page um, and it does tell you in quite great detail so look at the pictures closely read all the words and you should be good to go they really are uh, quite a comprehensive um, build manual not like some that are out there um, in addition these metal bearings or metal bushings that um, they supply I've replaced I'm going to replace them with uh, ball racers um, I think there's 27 and I think there are 11 20s no 11 50s there's an 850 in there. There's a couple of bigger ones in the gearbox. But we'll come to them as we go. So in this um, episode, I'm going to build up the chassis. I'm going to drill the cross members out so I can get the lights in for uh, the MFC. Um, I'll show you how I hide all the wiring make it all neat it's pretty simple nothing to uh thing. the body work is now down at my friends who is airbrushing it for me i went to pick up the paints yesterday and mm, judging by his other work this is going to be pretty sweet it's just a shame that it's going to be a flat yellow and blue um, because he's done some really good work. So, without further ado, let's get the chassis out of here and drill the cross members. Right, getting organised. Parts bag A, B, C, D, E, F, and screw bags B, A, B, A, M, B, A, B, 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 C. Um, I normally um, sort these out into tubs so I'm not scratching about so let me do that and um, I'll be right back And 
and that is how we get organized it's just food trays from um, a takeout that have accumulated over the years not weeks and there's your a to f and b a b a uh, b b and b c and the parts that bag that's not labeled always make sure you've got everything out of your bags and that is basically how to get organized and um, if you're limited for room um obviously cab parts uh, body parts etc gearbox parts in this bag you can stack them up in alphabetical order and make some room it's as simple as that because in the instructions are them I've lost them I've lost the instructions they're under everything because in here you will see that the screws are in uh, BC2 so you know they're going to be in um, tray BC um, and then BA they're going to be in the BA bag uh, so yeah that's just how to get organized that's how I do it um, and these are the frame rails that um, for the MAN 6x4 these are frame rails that I got um, given to me by somebody who wanted me to sort his truck out because his truck didn't run right these are aftermarket rails these were on a custom built uh, truck that he bought now he says nothing fits he can't get anything to work on it right it feels like it's going around corners all the time no matter what it does it um doesn't run right so I've got here front left, front right. I labelled them up. I labelled the arrows up. Um, and they do line up. All those holes. They line up. They line up. The rear. If we look. If we line them up. There's a lot of extra holes in there. For whatever reason. But they all seem to line up. Um, looks like you could have cut them off with a spoon or something. But why didn't it run right? And I put them uh, side by side, put them up against a straight edge, and this end wasn't level. That end is. So the frame rails were actually a different length. Um, so yeah, um, not the best. So take your time in building. There is no rush. People will say, oh, it took me two days to build. Oh, it took me 12 hours to build. Oh, it took me 10 minutes to build. Yeah, I've had a lot of um, trucks on this bench that have took 10 minutes to build. And it's took me, you know, quite a while to uh, disassemble and reassemble so always take your time and you know nobody's ever won a prize for building it the quickest just take your time and um, I'm gonna get stuck into this I'm gonna get all the chassis parts out I'm gonna unwrap these because these come with a um, protective um, coating on them so let me get all them out So satisfying to unwrap a brand new product. Um, you will see on um, the Tamiya rails they will be labelled left and right because uh, that's what you do. So basically I'm going to try and keep um, the front of the truck to this edge. I don't know why but I always prefer the rear axles on the right hand side so um, 
let me get all the chassis parts out and um, yeah we'll be right back um, right basically I've got all the parts out that I need for steps three and four I've not done steps two yet because that's the servo and that I can do that afterwards but first I want to point out that these brackets here okay these hold on the side skirts when we get to them now three of them are the same one of them has this um, offset so on this end they're all the same but on this side one of them is slightly different and you're going to be thinking well, where does that go you have to look at the instructions very 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 closely because you can see this one's not offset this one's not offset and as we come on to the other side this one's not offset and this one you can see that the hole isn't the same as this so you can assume that this one fits like that so yeah look closely if you see anything different because when you come to the point where you need to fit the side skirts you'll be kicking yourself because you're going to need to um, remove that and swap it around for the correct one um got the main cross member um at the, that goes under the fifth wheel or between the axles and then the rear cross member and uh, one with the air tank so let me get these um screwed together the the front the front suspension parts let me get that screwed together all right that is uh, stages three and four done um just to point out that if a bolt goes into metal then use a little bit of thread lock on there you do get some with the kit metal to metal so put some thread lock in there there's a um, thread lock in just that one because this one here goes into that thin bolt and you do get a little tamiya spanner that you can just put on there just fits in there whilst you tighten that up and don't tighten them up too much i've never used a power driver on these um, rc truck builds absolutely no reason get stuck in and there I have two holes and that's going to have the MFC wiring loom so I'm going to put this one in like so this has a, a archway at the bottom so make sure that that goes in the bottom because that uh, make sure that the drive shaft doesn't foul so that goes in there followed by this one i always go down the left side for the mfc wiring so i'm making sure that these holes are on the left side they go on there that goes on there and let me screw all that together I have if you've noticed revisited section 2 in the instruction manual and fitted the gear shift servo which is just a basic standard servo Futaba S3003 you can't get these now well you, you can get them second hand there may be some old new stock out there um, or new old stock whatever um, that somebody might still have um, I, I bought a, a, a job lot of these from an exhibition a robotics exhibition of all things and um, yeah that's uh, that's flat that's good 
So that is uh, how far we are at the moment. Um, a point to note is make sure that you get the front cross member in correctly. You'll see, I don't know if the lighting will show, but there's a ridge on the top part. If you get that in the wrong way around, um, your front end won't be right. Um, then the hole should be slightly towards the top. And that's it. And then as you can see further down, I have the hole here on the left rail and here. And that is for the uh, MFC. Can you see it just there? And then just there. And my wiring loom will run straight through those, straight up to the uh, cab where the uh, multifunction unit will be fitted. So yeah, that is um, pretty much where it is for the chassis. It's the same kind of chassis for um, all of the Tamiya range, with exception to the um, 4B2. It doesn't have this bit in the middle. The, the 4B2 just has one axle at, at the back. Um, but all the other six wheel um, tractor units and the, the Volvo Rigid, um, that is basically it. We have the axles to go in, which are the same on all the trucks and the transmission, um, which is the same on all the trucks. Um, but yeah, that is um, simple to put together. Uh, um, I've noticed in here that I've got some horrible pink shock absorbers. Just seen them. That's uh, hmm. I do have a, a, a pile of um, silver ones, so I might dig those out and put them in because I don't want pink shock absorbers on this um, you can strip them off or, or paint them um, but yeah pink shocks why is that I've never understood that um, right on to the axles um, I'm going to put the axles in I'm going to put the front steering in I'm going to make a dedicated video on the front steering because I'm going to fit the servo and the steering at the same time and I'm going to show you the steering mod um, because the turning circle on these is you know not as good as it could be so I'm going to do that it's a cheap modification you don't have to spend money on um, upgrade axles, Lisa axles and, and things like that. That's it's really, you know, not necessary. You can get just as good a steering out of that. So the steering's gonna be a completely separate video. So make sure you um I'm gonna put ding ding over there. Um so like this video, any questions, leave a comment if you want me to go over anything that I've done on this. I'll show you before I get too far advanced. Um subscribe because this is gonna be a good build series and um yeah have a good day and uh i'm going to carry on with this do the steering mod <laughs>